right hand by Mabuza right down the pipe. Zab is very alert. You can see his uh, forehead. You know, his forehead is very wrinkled. You know, his eyes are very wide. He's very focused right now. He's, he's alert. He's watching everything. Look at this. Brown hit the, his, his glove hit the camera. They're going to call that a knockdown? Yes. His glove, and he slipped. He was off balance. That was a slip. Yep. But, but you know, that, that happens. The same thing happened to Floyd Mayweather when he slipped and he, he touched the ground. Well, but, you know, let's see, and let's see, Tony, if, if Zad stays under control. Yeah. Let's see if he keeps his composure because he was very upset with what he felt was a mistake call. So now we just got to see if he stay focused and continue. Beautiful movement there again. Seconds to go here, round number four. Hit him, and yes, Zab did get his feet crossed. His feet did get crossed, and the, the punch was more of a forearm to the neck, but it caused him to go off balance. Loses. Was it the power that knocked him down? No, but technically, he, his he, his, did, he did. His hands did touch the ground, yeah, so it wasn't knocked down. And, 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 and coming down, and coming down the stretch later, I tell you, this may. This, that last round may play into, uh, may come into play, being that it was a 10-8 round. I, now I gave it a nine nine. I thought I thought the, I, I, I think so too. Yeah. Uh, that's what I thought it was. I thought it was more of a nine nine round. Zab was winning, and you take a yes. point away. And then he came back after the knockdown and still did it. And we saw Zab lose his cool against Kachizu many years ago, and it seemed like he was losing his cool for a minute, but he's back. Focus, be focused. Again, I think Zab is definitely in the business of boxing now. No longer in the business of ego. Older, stronger, smarter, more effective, Zab Judo. Well, this seems like the old Zab with the power and the straight shots. But Mabuz is coming forward, dropping his right hand a little bit as he comes in. You know, I think Mabuz definitely has a lot of power. But oh, yeah. Does not want to get hit tonight by some of that big shot. People always worried about Zab's uh, chin. Dropped the keys in the last fight. Seems to come back from it. Really quick punches. He has the hands. He always has that. You know, you mentioned Zab Judy's chin. You know, Mabuza hasn't yet has, has yet to get a chance to put his hands on Zab's chin. There he is playing a little bit, letting Mabuza know that he is. He is one of the greatest fighters. Look world. at that. Look at that. Great defense right there. That's three shots in a row. But who's just missed? He lands a kind of slapping left. Right, rather. Mabuza is switching southpaw, trying to, trying to upset Zab a little bit. Nice straight left by Zab. Backed up Mabuza. Short right hand. Mabuza winds up with his punches when he has Zab cornered. He should tighten up, shouldn't he? Just quick yeah, shot. Th those shots should come right off the chin. You know, off, my trainers would always say, off the chin, off the chin, off the chin. And what that means is all your shots are coming right off of your chin as opposed to cranking back and then throwing. It's a great featherweight. Really pep one around one without throwing a punch. I think Zab could do that. Still has the reflexes. Look at that. There's a super shooter showing his skills. Making Mabuza miss, coming back with a few shots, tying him up wisely when it when, when he falls off balance. Big of a shot by Zab too. We come to the end. Around five. Yeah, I 
ganado. Ya es obvio. Let it get in and out slow. Remember. Do it again. That's a beautiful jab. That's a beautiful jab. And you get it there. You know, Tony, as we were talking about earlier, that dude, his defense is just absolutely amazing. How you said, wow, you know, he's making a miss, he's standing right in front of him, making a miss. Sort of reminiscent of the great Cornell Whitaker, who is now his trainer. And, then, and toward the end of the round, you have Zab Judah not only doing that great defense, but coming back with a great body shot and great body work, trying to take the Bulls off balance. Here we go, round number six. Zab Judah, the purple came skipping out of his corner, ready to go back to battle. Kaiser the Bulls in the white, back to following Zab around the ring. Put the page along with the line. We're inside the Convention Center here in New, New Jersey. Glad you could join us. Zab seems to be picking up the offense a little bit. To me. Just uh, more, look at that, good defense again. And can we set himself to, show, to, to throw some more shots? I get the feeling he's losing up where he is. Almost landed one there. Yes, it, you, know, you know, Tony, you're absolutely right. Zab is definitely starting to pick up the, the offense. Not only that, he's very, very cognizant of what's going on, what he's doing, and where he's at every second of every round, I've noticed. Both fighters, they can pick up the pace a little bit. Zab, Zab can, can, I think he can win a, a round without throwing a punch. I mean, you land a punch and you miss. A guy hits you, but you make him miss four times. To me, you won the round. And, and that, that's that's what, uh, unless you get knocked down, of course. But, but Zab is, is really putting on a defensive clinic. Yes, tonight. he is, you know. And I, you know, again, I think it has a lot to do with. Him being refocused as a fighter and allowing someone else to take the reins, like the great Tanel Whitaker, as opposed to his father. Nothing against his no, father. No. Nothing against his father, who trained me at one point in my career, and I think he's a tremendous fighter and trained that for many, many years. But again, fresh water, yeah, always brings new life. Snap to the center of the ring again. Trying to see if he can land a combination, digging some shots inside. But is just following Sam, trying to work his jab, just trying to throw his punches when he gets inside. It seems like Mabuza has such a long way to land a punch. That hurts Sam. Good right hand. Here we go again. A chin. Let's see. Let's watch how Zab do it. Can keep his composure if he can keep his composure. He should be clinching. You should learn that by now. Hold on to the guy. The blues are coming in, trying to land that one shot. This is an uppercut. Twenty-six seconds to go in the round. Then gets tagged again. The blues are just coming forward, determined just to land one good shot, turn the fight around. Both fighters are in great shape here tonight, Tony. You can see it. You can see it in their eyes. You can see it in their breathing. You can see it in their movement. Good round from the booth. Get that second win. No. All right. letting him think he's stalking him. And it looks like a little bit of both. It looks like he is stalking him and, and, and at the same time throwing good shots at Zab. And with this shot here, he hurt Zab just a little bit. There's Zab, you know, back on his heels a little bit after that right hand. But it looks like he got it together and came back and fought hard for the end of the round there. And he's coming out very strong here. 
And I just saw something I've ne never seen before. Between the sixth and the seventh round, Zab Judah goes to his corner, sits down, stands up in the middle of, of the instructions, and then sits back down. Well, you know, it's, he's just very anxious, and, 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 and oftentimes, what a lot of people don't understand is when you sit down in that corner, your cup, your cup pushes up into your abdomen, making it difficult for you to breathe. So, so, and oftentimes you see trainers pulling fighters. Oh, what a shot! What a Good shot! Right he's, right out. he's out! Right he's right out! He's out! Look at that! Good he's right out! Look at that! Good right hand! Why does this fight need stop? So he's on his feet. This is dangerous. He is out on his feet. He is out on his feet. Why is this? He's not, he's not even looking. That's it. That's it. Great fight, and the and the great Zab Judah is coming on. Oh, he's out! Um, that's it, Zab Judah. Again, okay. the IBF welterweight champion of the world. Junior welterweight champ of the world. That one shot power. He used his defense to set him up. All fight looked like he was just setting a trap. One shot changed it. Took his time, set it up, worked hard, showed the world that he is still one of the greatest fighters in the world. Let you know, you can't teach power, but you can teach defense. He learned his defense, and he could, he implemented that with his power. Look look at the result. What a shot. He, I mean, I can't, I mean, I'm, I can't even tell you. I'm very, very happy for this kid. Because, again, he rededicated himself mentally, physically, spiritually, and came in here tonight, and he is the five-time world champ. Five-time world champ, and... People, Kathy make. Duba, Noel Judah, Zad Judah, they're all happy. Look at that. They deserve it. Now, Whitaker did a great job in, in, in implementing the defensive plan. I mean, you know, that defense, Tony, you, you kept mentioning how, how wonderful he looked, how different he looked with the defense. And it was the defense that, that won this fight for him. He was, it was, it was. The defense just set up everything. We got a little concerned when he got stung the last round, but he kept picking up his, his offense. He saw the, the little flashes of Zab Judah, but then one quick shot that changed everything. And I, I was really worried about Kaiser Mabuza because he was wobbling all over the place. And you hate to see a fighter get unnecessarily hurt. Well, you know, if it wasn't for the ropes, it would have went down. Well, so what a performance! Well, you know, here's the replay, Tony. <laughs> and again, Zab was just setting him up, letting him, and then just letting him think. Again, we were talking about who was stalking who. Was he actually stalking Zab, or was Zab letting him think he was stalking him? And then, and it showed he that, walked, and he walked into the shot. That was Zab and, laying and the trap. And it showed that he, Zab was letting him think he was stalking him. Again, we'll show it again here, where he thinks he's walking Zab down. Throws that lazy shot, and then Zab just steps back, and then boom, right on the chin. And if you notice, Zab is telling Sammy Berry with the ref, look at him, look at him. He can't continue like this. He's pointing to him. While this fight was going on, as is, watch Mike Tyson. He's in the lower left-hand corner. You'll see him in a minute. There he is in the jacket. He's, as he said, I he can't believe in, there that he should is. do this for a living. He, he, I can't believe he said that he couldn't believe he did this for a living, being that he was one of the greatest of all time. There is that mother giving him. Again, you know, uh, you know, Tony, I didn't want, I didn't want to, I felt, you know, I didn't want to say, well, I, the reason why I said, why is he stopping this fight is because when, when a fighter gets hurt, I mean, protect yourself at all times. Either you're gonna, there's no standing eight. He's count taking too here. many shots right here. There, it, there's no standing eight count. If you're not gonna, if if you're not gonna be able, if the fight is unable to continue, then the ref should just stop the fight. There's no return punches. That was my problem. He was getting hit some solid right. shots. He was trying his best. He's a game fighter. I mean, game, game. game He's looking fighter. at his corner. That was.